potato. <laughs> I already got it. <laughs> oh, teenagers are fun. Ah, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm going to peel my potato. Hi, Hello. Hello. Hello and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the day. Okay, fall is in the air and I want to make a pumpkin roll. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, the recipe comes from my mother-in-law's neighbor. Um, it's tried and true. Everybody loves it. And word of advice though, in the fall when you're going to make pumpkin anything, canned pumpkin is extremely hard to find. Some years the crops aren't good and so there's not a lot of canned pumpkin and sometimes it's just everybody wants to make pumpkin stuff, like me. So, um, word, of advice, word of advice, find your pumpkin puree, get one or two cans, um, but remember other people want to be making pumpkin stuff too so don't like, you know, hoard all the pumpkin, save some for others. And yeah, if you want this for like that day, I would make sure you've got the pumpkin on hand. So, that being said, and I'm only saying that because I had to go to three different stores <laughs> to find pumpkin puree. Oh, it was craziness. But anyway, we're gonna make a pumpkin roll today. <laughs> pumpkin roll today, you guys. <laughs> this is the recipe that we will be following today. Um, it will also be on the website. So that that's in the description down below. So if you want to go to the website and print it off, you can also do that. Or you can screenshot it, you know, whichever one you do. So it calls for two thirds cup pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, pumpkin puree. Um, if you open it and it smells and looks like baby food, <laughs> you probably have the right thing. <laughs> Kids are home from school now. So <laughs> then we need three eggs, one cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of lemon juice, and one teenager coming home from school. <laughs> Okay, so once you've got that all mixed, then you need to get your dry ingredients and mix them together and add it to your wet ingredients. And while you're doing that, you listen to your kids while they talk to you about their school day because that's part of being in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's those guys, it's what makes it awesome. It smells like fall. The cinnamon and the ginger and the pumpkin all together. Once your pan is prepared, you go ahead and pour this mixture into the pan and you're gonna roll it up so the parchment paper makes it easier for it to come out of the pan makes it easier on you <laughs> we've got kids going on today so i spread it out into a rectangular shape so it won't fill your pan but you just spread it out like that and then you put it in the oven and you bake it for only 15 minutes it doesn't take very long at all Alright, while that's in there cooking, I use this time to clean up my mess and also get out the things that need to be soft for the filling. So it calls for cream cheese and butter, vanilla, and powdered sugar. So I'm going to get those things out and getting soft. Okay, so it's all, it's all cooked and it's out. It needs to be in the pan and cool for like five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna roll it in a dishcloth dusted with powdered sugar. It's gonna be fun. 
Peel my potato. <laughs> I already got it. <laughs> oh, teenagers are fun. Uh, I'm crying. <laughs> I forgot to peel my potato. Uh, Hello, Hello. 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 I love this one. And then right now they'd be playing. You got a friend in me. Do, 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 do. You got a friend in me. A friend in me? I got a friend in me. Okay. All right. This has got to cool for a while. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty warm. So it's going to cool and then we'll unroll it. We'll put on the filling and roll it back up. Hopefully there's no cracks. There might be, but. You know, hopefully there isn't any. Oh, it smells so good. The roll has cooled um, enough that we can unroll it and put the filling in. So we need to make our filling. It's six ounces of cream cheese, four tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, <laughs> mixed together with a, a cup of sifted powdered sugar, and then we'll just spread it over the top of it and it's going to be delicious. She's just playing <laughs> with the dog. It's fine. <laughs> We have come to the tricky part, my friends. We need to unroll this, and hopefully it didn't stick too bad. I did not powder sugar it before I rolled it, and I was supposed to, so we'll see if this works. We gotta spread this on here very carefully. It's a pumpkin and it's a roll and it's cracked to boot, but it is super delicious. Let's cut it up and feed some kids some pumpkin roll. And I licked the beaters from the cream cheese frosting because I don't share that part. There you go, beautiful. Look at you have work. There you go. Pumpkin-y, cream cheesy deliciousness. <gasps> Yay! Okay guys, that is the complete pumpkin roll. Um, the start off on our fall cooking adventures this year. Thanks for hanging out with us today, and if you guys make this, let me know in the comments, or if you have made it, or if you love cream cheese like I do, and don't share the beaters with your kids, let me know that too. But you guys, here's to fall. So good. It's so good. And there's many more fall recipes to come, my friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next time. Bye. Guess what guys, I don't have to drive my parents car anymore because I got my own, let's go check it out.